29th of the 7th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start on Scott.net tonight. Earth is getting fatter. Uh, like many of its inhabitants, Earth is getting thicker around the middle. That's what a new study out this week says. The increased bulge is due to the melting of the Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets. Uh, the Earth was never perfectly round to begin with. Due to its spin, just as an ice skater's skirt flutters up and away from, from her skates during her uh, parade, water on Earth is more concentrated at the equator than at the poles. And uh, so this is a confirmation brought from uh, the ISNS um, that uh, glacial melting in the earth is the weight is being distributed. U.S. Pennsylvania girl 11 hit by lightning on a sunny afternoon. In uh, Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania, an 11-year-old Western Pennsylvania girl is recovering after she was struck by a bolt from the blue. Um, so talking about the odds of getting struck by lightning on a sunny day. Out of Iowa, record rainfall and flash flooding and fires in Dubuque, Iowa. Now this is in eastern Iowa. Uh, they've got videos out of this. 10.92 uh, inches of rain fell into Dubuque overnight and uh, rain continues to fall over eastern Iowa. Uh, that's a record day in Dubuque and most of any July day in history. Uh, there were unofficial 12 inches in uh, Galena and uh, Posta, Iowa. The rain caused widespread flash flooding which covers parts of Highway 20 forced officials to shut down in both directions of traffic. Uh, Highway 20 was closed between Epworth and Piosta and also from mile marker 313 to the Illinois border. And uh, there were tornado warnings earlier in the evening, but they have been no confirmed reports of tornado touchdowns or damage. And uh, the story goes on to say that uh, two lightning fires and uh, uh, somebody started a car and there was fluids in their garage that was flooded, uh, that caught on fire and their house burnt down and the fire department couldn't get to them due to flooding. Uh, U.S. Unusual lightning strike sparks three Minnesota fires. Uh, lightning hitting a tree caused three fires in East 9th Street in Duluth this morning, extensively damaging one house. Fukushima long ranked as most hazardous plant. Uh, Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant ranked, ranked as one of the most dangerous power world for radiation exposure years before it was destroyed by the meltdowns and explosions that followed the March 11th earthquake. And uh, the insanity continues in Fukushima. Uh, U.S. Tropical Storm Dawn moving across the Gulf of Mexico towards southeastern Texas. And um, they're saying it's a pretty condensed storm, so everybody don't get too excited too too soon. I mean, as far as rainfall totals and breaking the, the drought that is going on in Texas and uh, the southeast United States right now. Much needed rain on the way. I, I hope Don delivers. Philippines tropical storm um, wanting triggers floods, landslides, and accidents. And at least 10 people died and four others were reported missing as tropical storm wanting uh, international code name NOC 10 intensified, intensified further and moved closer to the country yesterday, officials said. And again, this is their time of year and uh, tsunamis all throughout that region. Uh, a couple little quicks. Over to the extinction protocol. Here's a story. Grid st strained across the planet as both demand and high temperatures soar. Now this is a story coming out of Kenya, Africa as far as how they're not able to keep up with demand in their country and uh, they want to do hydroelectrical or um, geothermal out of the Menenge crater um, to help supply um, the energy and that uh, 
They're having a deal with the company. The KPLC does not generate power. The company sells power to customers, and instead of letting customers suffer erratic outages, it would be better to caution them at a certain period of time that there will be interruptions. So they're letting the people uh, know in the strained area that uh, don't uh, don't plan on it. You know, uh, flash floods return to southeast Poland. Uh, although the scale of the flooding is decently smaller than last year's disaster, um, about 500 homes have been deluged with water in the San Marinas area alone, and um, that region is having extensive weather as well. Growing threat of wildfires in the Arctic could unleash greenhouse gases from the tundra. Arctica, the, the Arctic, after 10,000 years of absence of wildfires, have returned to the Arctic tundra, and the University of Florida study shows that their impact could extend far beyond the areas blackened by flames. In a stu study published in the July 28 issue of the journal Nature, UF ecologists uh, and a team of scientists, including um, some UF ecologists, quantified the amount of soil bound carbon released into the atmosphere in the 2007 Anak-Tuvok River fire which covered more than 400 square miles on the north slope of Alaska's Brook Bridge. The 2.1 million metric tons of carbon released in the fire, roughly twice the amount of the greenhouse gases put out by the city of Miami in a year. So, uh, it, as, as it thaws, the it dries and it burns and uh, and they want to tax you for it. <laughs> Here's a funny one. U.S. debt fears grow as U.K. becomes the safest haven for bondholders. And God save the Queen, right? Shh. Over to the Watchers. Russia battles fires amid tropical heat. A rush on Thursday sweltering to abnormally hot summer weather as the emergency services sought to control expanding countryside blazes to prevent a repeat of last year's devastating wildfires. And, uh, yeah, 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit in the past few days and places. As Typhoon Wanning exited Philippines, another tropical storm is forming. And again, it's that time of year they're going to get one after the other, all up through Japan and the Fukushima area. And of course, uh, the Philippines are on alert for landslides. Well, there's nothing really new on the RSOE other than what I've already covered, so I'm not even going to cover that. And um, enjoy away you can. Thanks for all your help.